Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Hope you're all doing well today. I have got a lager to review for you and it's a lager from one of my favourite British breweries from all the way down to Bristol. It's Arbor and it's their quite simply titled Lager, the Arbor Lager in their usual pint can with the lovely matte finish. This one's in a, a teal and a dark bluey green colour with the Standard Leaf logo, and it's a gluten-free premium lager, and this bad boy is coming in at 5.2% ABV. I picked this can up from Beer Shop in St Albans, and I paid £3.50 for it. I think it was three fifty, something like that. Yeah, 5.2. Arbor Lager. I never had a lager from Arbor before. Arbor, for me, specialise in pales, IPAs, and for me, they're one of the consistently decent British brewers right now. Um, but yeah, so they've had a crack at a lager, so I had to uh, had to have a go on this one. Doesn't say a great deal about it. Contains uh, British barley, brewed and canned in the UK by Arbor, who are on Eastern Road in Bristol. So if you're in Bristol, then you are a lucky devil. Uh, it's suitable for vegans, but it is not gluten-free. So there you go. Pike can of Arbor. Let's get it out of its can into a glass. Let's see what we're dealing with. Very light on the colour, as you'd expect. I'll keep that as it is for now. Arbor Lager. There's the lager. Slight haze to it. Look at the carbonation. Brushing up on that one. That is lively, and that's hanging on at the moment to a one finger, slightly spacious looking white head, which looks like it's starting to dissipate a little bit. I'll probably be able to top this up in a second. But yeah, hazy, hazy gold looking lager. Um, but yeah, it looks quite nice. You got to serve that up. I'll be quite excited about that. Yeah, let's get me starting, see what the aroma is telling us. Mm. Smells very clean. Touch of lime I'm getting on this one. Touch of lemon, touch of lime. I'm getting like a bready, sort of a honey bready malt coming through. But it's definitely quite strong lime. That was the first thing that jumped out. Was the lime on this one. This is a pint can. There's obviously more beer in this than I can fit in my glass. It smells clean, it smells quite fresh, definitely a citrusy vibe going on with it, but there's also that sort of bready malt, which is reminiscent of any good sort of German Heller's lager. Look at it, it looks lovely in the glass. I love that haze to it, really looks good. Let's get stuck in, cheers. Oh yeah. Yeah, pardon me, that is good. That's a good lager. Oh, there's a zest to it. There is definitely like a lemon grassy sort of thing going on. It's really zesty, really refreshing. It's like pow, that like all of a sudden my palate has just been completely just sweet, completely refreshed. My stool's dipping again. Stupid chair. Um, this is good. And there is that sort of touch of that sort of bready, malty kind of flavour. I was getting on the aroma as well. It's like a, a honey on bread thing. I've described it when I've had a few German beers in the past. That for me is always a sign of a, a good lager. When you get that kind of bready malt, that sort of slightly sweet bready malt on the aroma and the flavour. That is a smasher. That's a cracking beer. I'm enjoying that. Um, touch of pepperiness. Touch of spice at the back end as well, which is kind of more Pilsner-esque than lager. A lot of lagers you just don't get a finish to. This one has got a finish to it. It's citrusy on arrival. Lemon, lime, sort of lemon grass.
Yeah, lemon lime, lemongrass, citrusy, slightly zesty. Really awakes your palate. And in the middle there's that slightly, it's almost like a white bread, tiny bit of butter and a little bit of honey on it as well. I'm getting that mid palate. And then at the back end, there's a lovely, slightly peppery, slightly bitter finish to it. It's got stages. It's, I don't want, complex isn't the right word because everything I've just said is what you get with this beer. But there are a lot of lagers that are very much a kind of wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type thing. Bosh, a bit of touch of citrus and then gone. Bit of fizz and that's about it. This has a bit of body. This has a bit of a, a citrusy kick. And there's that gentle, slightly sweet, bready malt mid palate. And then when it's gone, you're left with a nice peppery, spicy, slightly bitter finish that's kind of more of the Pilsner esque, you know? A good sort of dry Pilsner. Not as drying as a lot of Pilsners. It doesn't quite have that drying aspect, but it's certainly peppery, certainly spicy at the finish. That. It's a terrific lager and another terrific beer from Arbor, who I maintain are one of the most underrated breweries in the country. And for the money as well, it's um, £3.50. I don't I think I've ever paid, I don't think I've ever paid more than four fifty for a can of Arbor beer off the top of my head. And that whether that's directly from Arbor in beer shops, supermarkets, they've had one or two go in the supermarkets. I'm not sure I've ever paid more than 354 quid for a can of Arbor. Um, in terms of value for money, they're knocking it out of the park. I don't know how much longer they're going to be able to maintain that, with the way that the costs of everything are going up at the moment, and especially in knocking them into pint cans as well. In terms of value for money, you'd be hard pressed to find a better quality British craft brewer than them. Um, that's a terrific lager. That's a really, really good lager. And uh, it's such a hard style to to master. Um, everyone loves a lager. It's the biggest selling style of beer in the world. What not everyone knows, though, is it's also the most expensive style of beer to brew. It's also the most time-consuming style of beer to brew. Um, so when you get it right, they deserve to be acknowledged. And at Arbor, they say they smash their pails, they smash their IPAs. That's a bloody good lager. That's a really good lager from Arbor. I like that. I like that enough to give it a solid 9 out of 10. Really impressed with that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Until my next one, you take care.